welcome to Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast. This is an actual play 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Royalty free music provided by Kevin MacLeod, Plate Mail Games, and Tabletop Audio. And now, to adventure. Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Buckner. I'm the primary dungeon master for Knights of Roleplay and Adventuring Podcast. This is part two of our adventure Space Station Omega. In part one, the party went to Space Station Omega after Kate's character, Arvine, received a vision from her god, Mayahine, about a great evil on a distant space station. Mayahine had given Arvine an instinctual homing beacon that she was able to follow once they got into space, and so they were able to find and locate the space station. They got onto the space station and explored a dragonfly spell jamming ship that was uh, parked right outside one of the docking bays. Then they tried to go further into the station and they were attacked by a spectral, uh, shadowy sort of uh, figure of death. And we're picking up right after uh, Janie had hit it with magic missile and caused it to dissipate. I said, good job, Janie. How, how'd you know to use that spell? I had a flicker of recollection from from my inner voices. They're sometimes useful. I'm not going to judge anybody for inner voices. It was hard to hit, but that it wasn't very strong, so I knew that my missiles never miss. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really good thinking. Good job. They never miss. Yeah. Well done. Awesome. It's always great to follow your inner voice. Yeah. And then you keep the, these other spells that just seem to happen after you cast a spell. That's really interesting, too. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. All right. Well, that was very good. Sometimes they're good, but sometimes they're not good. How okay. did you know that? What? Because <laughs> I saw her, like, her heel. Or, or, it, like, it, you, you basically see some kind of magic around her. He's described it when she surges. There, there, when, when, she yeah. has a, when she has a wild yeah. surge, there is sort of like some kind of an explosion of magic. Of yeah. magical energy, yeah. yes. I'll try to be more descriptive and about not it. Not to mention the fact that she teleported right behind no. me and scared the living yeah, shit no, out of like, me <laughs> on the last mission. No, I, was, I, was, I was just wondering how you knew she got her spell slot back when. No, I just saw. I just saw that she sees these weird surges just, of magic after I yeah. had Okay, I misheard you. It's like we, I, I saw this weird surge of something and she looked a lot healthier in the middle of the last fight. Or less tired, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I, I'm familiar with healing, right? It looked like something healed her in the last fight, and it wasn't me. It wasn't okay, her. Okay, let's, let's <laughs> and it wasn't you. Okay. Let's go in the room. <laughs> go in the room. the room. No, I'm not going in the room just yet. I'm going to... You need to heal. Step back for a minute. Get my dice back. Uh, you want to do spells, or you want to use the, the golem? Um, Greg, could you pass there an Oreo, please? Can I have another one? Yeah. Have you had two? No. Oh. I, I, <laughs> I might want a second. Oh, there's two no. there. There's two? Okay. I, was like, I mean, yeah, go for yeah, it. Really Let good. our guests have one, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless we can sit and take a break for an hour. Um, I highly doubt that that's a good uh, idea. Yeah. Then, mm. The door is still open. Mm. Well, then I'll. Yeah. <laughs> this is like no crunchy thing I on the love, table. I love torturing you. I love you, but I love torturing you too. I love you too. Um, I love to love. I love you. I love you so much. No, I'll, I'll I'll just have GH give me another. Give me a shot. Shoot him up. Shoot, shoot me up, GH. His hand transforms to the healing device. <laughs> it does minimum healing. <laughs> it does three point three healing. Wow. I'm still very bloody. You might want to use your healing potion. I can't help you anymore. Janie hands you her healing potion. Um, oh. Brother! Oh, thank you. I think, Actually, yeah, I, I think that'll help. So I can give him one instead of you. No, I already gave him one. 2D4. Well, Too one late! That I have. Too late! How about that? Too late! 
2d4 plus 2? 2d4 plus 2 is a healing potion, yes. Okay. Do better. I give you my healing potion so you can have one. <laughs> Get it in the dice, Dre John. <laughs> Another six. Well, I'm not bloody anymore. Okay. But I'm all, probably also probably shouldn't take the point either. <laughs> so you guys tell me what you are going to do. I guess yes. Arvine is being volunteered to take point. That's okay. Go through the door. <laughs> all right. So you go through the door. I'm going through the door. So you I walk in and you, and you basically see what's there. But in that big circle, um, stop right there, sir. Yeah, that's good. Um, in that big circle in the middle of the room. Um, you see a very large, dark red symbol drawn sort of haphazardly on the floor there. Um, oh, we're playing Doom. Is it, it red? It, it is red. Is it blood? Um, Would appear to be. Do you want to get close to it and take a look at it? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, based on what you saw... Because we're all in the room now. Outside, the street comes in and it goes right into there, and it seems to be the same color as the rest of it. So, yes, it does appear to be blood. So it's like something got dragged in from the hangar bay. Somebody like, made a bloody mess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and got used for a ritual mm. of some kind. Uh, so if people want to make religion or history checks um, to try to discern... The nature of the symbol, they may. Is that something we can help each other no, with? No, no, you okay. cannot help on this. You're, okay. You're just, just individual rows. You either okay. choose religion or history. One of them has a higher DC than the other. Okay. Um, oh, well, apparently my religion check was only good once this game. <laughs> history for me. Okay. They're, they're both religion. the same role for me, so I will take religion. Okay. I got a 13 on religion. I got 23 on religion. Nice. Okay, so Strax got 23 on religion. 13 religion. 13 religion. Five. Five. <laughs> 10 on history. 10 on history, okay. Um, Jesus. Um, okay, so so this is what the, this is what it looks like. I'm showing everybody, listeners, I'm showing them a picture. Ooh. It looks like this. Mm. That looks fun. Like Suitably creepy. Thing. Looks sharp. I'll, I'll put a picture of this on Instagram later. Um, so, Strax mm. it is the symbol of Orcus, demon prince of the undead. Oh, boy. That would make sense, depending, seeing as what we just fought. <laughs> I kind of nudge mm. you and say, hey, I, I know that we're not going to get people from the ship to come over to you. You just want to let them know that this is what we're finding? I assume you guys took the communicator brooch. We yeah. fought an avatar of death, and we found some indications <laughs> that there might be people operating for Orcus here, and we're going to keep investigating. Well, we don't need to let them know all of that. We want the ship to still be there when we leave. <laughs> but at least we got to let them know that we're still alive. Yeah. So what do you say? Hey, Hal. Just want to let you know that uh, we've started our investigation. So had some uh, minor resistance so far, but we're, uh, we're proceeding forward. Very good, Strax. <laughs> Please be careful, Strax. <laughs> Will do, Al. All right. Okay. So I guess let's keep exploring. I probably won't stand inside that circle any more than I have to, because that weirds me out. But no. um, with that DC, I know it was a history check, so Correct. I don't know if... Well, it would be enough to know whether or not it would be a good right? idea to disturb that symbol now that it's been apparently you you fixed. yeah you're pretty sure that it was used for a ritual of some kind so whatever purpose it has it's spent you think so okay yes oh. mm. so um, except to find the rest of the room you guys are all walking into the room there so I guess so yeah okay that's fine and you got you guys are uh, perceptifying slash investigating. Uh, yeah, just a general perceptifying. You want to and... not go in the circle? Not go in right. the circle. I, I would probably skirt the circle to investigate I mean, the room. Yeah, I, don't, I have no one actually said anything about that. I mean, yeah, we should probably a good idea to avoid that. At, Thing. Yeah. Um, 
It looks like its job is done, but it's generally not a good idea to mess with Orcus. So right. let's. So it's a good policy. Is that part of the room <laughs> too, up those world. stairs? Uh, it is part of the room, yes. Okay. Yep. Are there. I am blind as a bat. Six. Until you just help me to look around. And I, that means I'll roll it with. She's got a hog at the perception roll screw. <laughs> I got a uh, 16. 16. Jenny, are you participating in any of this? Um, what is your perception model? Yeah! My perception is <laughs> I'm looking yeah, around. Mine's a plus four. That's you don't, you don't have to. Hey, I'm just curious. I'm just who curious. else would think to look at the ceiling? Really? I'll, I'll perceptify the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> Eight. You see ten bodies hanging from knobs. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been something. Uh, okay, so Arvine. Yep. Um, you see... You see a few papers around on these desks. I mean, this looks like sort of like a research room okay. where where the, where the researchers would come and, and um, go over their data. Uh, okay. And you and you see a journal that has the name Alexander Selnar, Operations Specialist, on the cover. Okay. And it has uh, a bookmark hanging out of the side of it. Okay. Selnar. Yeah. Operations specialist. Operations specialist, yes. And a bookmark. And a bookmark, yep. Okay. Uh, check the page with the bookmark. Okay. So what you find <laughs> is, uh, it, it is it is a journal. Okay. So gross. It, it is Alexander's personal journal, and um, you start going through the area where the uh, the bookmark is, and you see an entry that says, "Star date zero one one five dot zero." Uh, dot eight zero, sorry. Um, new researcher arrived today. Name of Vernath Dom. He seems a little odd. Rumor has it he was assigned here to space station Omega because of problems with other research teams on other stations. Okay. Star date zero one two two dot eight zero. Researcher. Vernath has not made any friends. His behavior has become increasingly odd. He spends all of his uh, off-duty time in his quarters. Perhaps that is for the best. Stardate 0129.80. Vernath has repeatedly come into conflict with other members of the research team. I thought I heard him say under his breath something about how we'll all see things differently very soon, whatever that means. That's never ominous. Mm. Stardate 0206.80. Other members of research team have started to behave oddly. They seem preoccupied. The other day, I saw Denrun and Balmir leaving Venrath's quarters. Perhaps I should speak with Chief Researcher Narek about this. And that is the last entry in the journal. <sighs> Hmm. Sounds like a possession to me. Yeah, well, who knows? Uh, Vernath might be the great evil that we're looking for, or, or he might whatever, have summoned a great evil. Or whatever devoured him. Whatever, yeah, <laughs> whatever has possessed him. Huh, okay. <laughs> Nothing doing but to try the next door, I suppose. Yep. Volunteers. That we don't do, have... do, you, do you, you share that information with the rest? Yeah, of them? I share that information with everybody so mm-hmm. they know that there's this researcher who potentially started all of this. Um, do we have a? Do the doors just swing open, or do they have like handles and latches? They they have a button basically. They have like a okay. panel that you put your hand on, and okay. then it slides open. I think we should try to kind of keep distance when we open these doors based on what happened before. Sorry, mm-hmm. I don't have me so. here. Maybe I can recall something about this. <laughs> okay. So you, I think you do like uh, hit what kind of checks with advantage because of that. Uh, do you want to do you want to tell them what you're doing, Greg? And you can read it from your um, racial features if you want to read it out loud. Okay. Uh, I am doing a memory of a thousand lifetimes, and with this, I gain proficiency in history skill. And in addition, you can attempt to recall information about your current location. You can use your action to activate this power, which lasts for one hour. While this power is active, you gain historical vision in a given location, allowing you to see past events that elicited strong emotions. 
Everyday occurrences are not seen by this power. Um, beginning with the most recent significant event at the location and working backward in time, you can sense one distinct event for every 10 minutes this power is active. If any such events exist to be sensed, your sensitivity extends into the past a maximum number of years equal to 100 times your character level. While using this power, you must maintain concentration as if concentrating on a spell. You can't concentrate on this power in a spell that requires concentration at the same time. If your concentration is broken, the power immediately ends. The power also ends if you fall unconscious, drop to zero hit points, die, or if you use a bonus action to end the power. I kind of like those powers that keep going even after you die, myself. <laughs> but, okay, so you're going to use Memory of a Thousand Lifetimes? Mm-hmm. Okay. And is the, that's a, a 20 D20? No, no. No, oh, no you just, just, use, you just, you just use it. Yeah. You decide to use your concentration. You, you have a certain this. number of uses per day, um, which um, it should be listed in there somewhere. Yeah. So you check check box. To number show of it. times between long, long rest, rest equal to wisdom modifier minimum of one. Yeah. What is your wisdom modifier, guy? Uh, wisdom modifier is plus three. So you get three. Nice. A day. So three a day. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so um, Matisse explains what she's about to do, and she closes her eyes and she goes into a trance. So Greg Matisse um, focuses her mind, casting her vision into the past. After 10 minutes of meditation, you see the room you are in now, but with no symbol on the floor. There are three people in the room going about their duties. One of them seems to be telling, one of them seems to be telling the other two what to do. The man in charge has a name tag that reads Chief Researcher Narek. You can make out the name tags of the other two men, Denrun and Balmir. The door to the room opens and a human male walks in with a manic look in his eyes. His name tag reads Venrath. He says something to Denrun and, and Balamir. Suddenly, they assault Narek, beating him to the ground and tying his hands and feet with rope. The other three men use Narek's blood to paint the symbol on the floor. They seem to be chanting as they bring Narek into the center of the symbol. Venrath takes out a finely crafted dagger that bears the same symbol as the one on the floor, which now you know is Orcus. He cuts Narek's throat and lets him bleed to death on the floor. Venrath says something to Denrin and Balmir, and they drag Narek's body out of the room. What way? Okay. So that would explain the dried blood dragged through. Yeah. So... So, so that, that, that is your vision that you get. So she okay. comes out of kind of her trance, and then do, what do you tell us? Uh, I see that um, the crew chief officer was murdered here and was used to perform a ritual by the other two crew members who were responsible for what happened on the ship. Okay. And that is really all that I've seen. So okay. this is the crew chief's blood that made this. Okay. Poor, poor sucker. Yes. All right. I mean, your power, if, if we let you concentrate longer, you might see more, is that... You would... It, it only picks up on events that involve strong emotion. So okay. if there are events that have such emotions in them, it will detect them. If, 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 if it goes back like another... However long the station has been here, and there's no strong emotional event that occurred in this room, which given that they're researchers, they're, they probably wouldn't, yeah. um, then you won't detect anything. I mean, you yeah. can sit there for the next hour if you want to, and just focus on this. Mm-hmm. Um, but it would only be things with strong emotion that it picks up. How much up. do you need a short rest? An hour. How? No, how badly do you need a short rest? Um, not very now, th- thanks to that healing potion. Okay. All right, if you're close to full, then I guess we should probably... Yeah. 13 of 19. Press on for now. We get much more with the short okay. rest. Arvine kind of stands aside from the door, I so hopefully like a scene. scythe doesn't come through and hit her in the face <laughs> and like hits tense. the button. I'm feeling. Is the button on the wall over here? Uh, yes, there's a button. She stands by the wall. It's the button. It's the button. The button. Uh, but her sword's out. G-H she kind of punches the. <laughs> Both swords ready. Uh, I'm Greg's in a teepee. I'm in a wigwam. Okay. So, so currently you see that room right there. 
Okay. Oh, sure. You open a door, you don't get hit in the face. <laughs> Did you just knock me over on purpose? You went... What? This is John's standard <laughs> level of grace. It's fine. Never mind. Says the Kate Smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, pie. John, and, John and I both have a level of smash. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. This has been observed. Hey, what's in the so, what's in the so far, room? nothing. Am I in the room? That's, that, that's what you see. All right, I'll explore forward. Okay. When you get to that spot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll explore further forward. Are you guys coming with me? That's All your right. problem now. No, <laughs> Of course, he is. I'm going. <laughs> so your Arvin, our Asmar fighter, is in the front. Yep. And your passive perception. Um, Fourteen. You from from down that hallway to your mini's left. Yes. Um, you can hear some movement coming from down that hallway. Okay. Arvin kind of ducks back behind the corner and says, "Somebody's coming from that way." All right, and I kind of peek really cautiously around. You're still on that spot. Um, yeah, as long as that keeps me back out of sight from whatever's coming down the hallway. I mean, you don't see anything. I mean, I mean, you still hear some kind of movement, but it's um, it doesn't okay. really seem to be changing position all that much. Okay. Um, it's, it's something's down the hall. I mean, do we want to just move on and check it out and come back to this room, or what do you guys think? You hear like a little bit of like a moan. Oh boy. <laughs> Space zombies. <laughs> um, so I think there's something that sounds kind of. I guess what I know enough about enemies to have an idea there's that it sounds like. Yeah, oh, there's geez. like a moaning noise. I, I don't know if this is undead or what. We based live in a on hotel. The first thing. Seems likely. Uh, so do you guys want to investigate this room at all, or just go down there and try to kill whatever this is, assuming it's bad? So you, you start to pick You're up, asking me if we should go kill something? You start to pick up on a shuffling sound, and you hear something. It sounds like it's coming towards that far corner. Something Especially is shuffling if it's a threat okay. towards that far uh, it corner. It looks like the question is going to be answered okay. for us shortly. All right. Uh, so let's get into position, huh? Okay. I All still right. got some firepower. Well, it's moving slowly. you got about five seconds. <laughs> okay. Get All in right. position before we're blockaded in the door. Okay, so I zip across into the room to open up the space. Like as what you do run, I see as I walk across? As you run, as you run across um, that room, um, you see what looks like some kind of a shambling... Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> some kind of a shambling figure that, that looks like it's wearing perhaps a research outfit oh. of some kind. Oh. It's a zombie. <laughs> I would probably recognize it from my vision. I whisper maybe. across, it's something, it looks like a dead researcher. I recognize him from my vision. Okay. Let's make sure um, he stays uh, that way. You're, you're right, right there. Chris, I'm going to yeah. sheath uh, my... You can't see anything quite yet. Can I sheath my swords there. and try to laser rifle it, or is it too close at this point? Uh, no, it's fine. I, I mean, okay. so, so Greg, you, so you step out to there, and, and you see um, you see somebody that's dressed in a, in a researcher. You saw, like, yeah. the people in your vision, they had researcher stuff on. You see uh, a researcher that looks to be undead, kind of shuffling. Okay. And uh, it... it it, it's, it sees you as you start to come out, and yeah. it starts to shuffle like mildly <clears throat> faster <laughs> in your direction. Um, if, if you want to get off one shot, Kate, yep. before we do initiative, you can go yep. ahead and do that. She'll do that. All right. So I'll put a I'll put a thing here. Okay. So it, it, uh, it sees Matisse, and then it starts to pick up a little bit of speed. You see, there's a, there's a couple more down the hallway. Uh -huh. Space zombies. <laughs> zombies <laughs> All in space. Please don't suck. <laughs> I hate my dice today. Please don't They're suck. So you told bad. it not to suck. Uh, the AC nine to hit a zombie? Well, maybe you should tell it to suck. Uh, AC nine. That's it's it, it's the only thing in, in the door right there. Yeah. And it's very hard to miss it. And and it comes forward and you, and you hit it in the abdomen. Okay. And it and it does do some damage on it. it just okay. Kinda, uh, keeps okay. moving forward, but but you do hit it. I do hit it. You okay. You hit it. You do damage it. Okay. So with my action. Laser rifle that will hit for nine force damage, okay. and then I'm gonna put the rifle away and bring out the swords to be ready. Um, well, you don't get to okay, it's that's gonna be part it's of combat, so okay? You, so you have to do the action, to okay? So I'll just put the can I put the rifle away with my flourish? Yes, I won't be able to draw the swords. Yes. I get yes, that, yes. yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so then we will uh, roll initiative, please. We said nine force damage. Yep. Better than last time. Mm-hmm. That's good. Much better than last time. Apparently, I am only good at initiative rolls. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh, okay. Good for you. <laughs> it's probably good you go first, anyway. Hey, Dice, how's about we do this during combat? <laughs> Okay. okay, so initiative for Janie. A 22. Oh, ah, good job. Philly. Matisse. 12. <laughs> what? 12. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell him your butt the next time. Strax. So. 15. Ooh, I'm last. Arvain with a 30. 23. Uh, <laughs> okay, and my zombies. Do you need, like, ibuprofen or anything? I've like already taken, like, a ton. <laughs> Sorry, hon. In the last couple of hours. Oh. Okay, setting up the initial board. You have dental coverage? Totally under the mall. Okay. That fit, get that shit fixed. Yeah. I don't yeah. have it. Well, the dentist that I've been seeing wasn't in network for my last insurance, so I don't know if he is with this one. Okay. But he can't pull a tooth. Uh-huh. I might go to. Yeah, this guy has a or dental urgent care. Okay. If you need a buddy, At let this me know. When I'm ready to just get it knocked out. If you need a buddy, Yank. let me know. Good we can do the whole doorknob string thing to her. Uh, no. <laughs> I got lots of pliers down. So no. <laughs> Put your multi tool away, John. <laughs> Just offering. <laughs> I'm with you, John. I'm you know, you. some people are into that pleasure is pain thing. Yeah. That ain't me. So, like, <laughs> two he's, more he's uh, mud slides or three more? <laughs> I'm out of a lot Two of Two more mud slides or three more? Maybe three. <laughs> including your mind. You will have to get me much drunker to be able to go at my mouth with that pair of pliers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Uh, okay. uh, oh, at least I go before the things. That's good. Huh. Uh, could someone please mark that zombie with the letter A? This is a zombie. It is a zombie, not I zombie. <laughs> oh! Arvine, so. you are up. Okay. Follow them up. All right. Let Janie blast them. Okay. Uh, so shambling comes zombies. Comes dashing up here. And... That's not bottle. Uh-huh. Well, someone... Close. Yeah, Other be. people will be able to bottle, bottle up, and that'll let Janie get frontage. So, <coughs> yeah. Janie's going next. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Arvine will swing with her. She draws a Wakazashi. She won't be able to draw both on this turn, but she will swing. Mm-hmm. AC 17 to hit. They seem yep. jumpy. Asimar okay. Fighter runs up there with For the Wakazashi. Seven damage. Seven damage on A. That's going to bloody it. Okay. All right. And uh, that's all she can do for now. Okay. Then we are at uh, Janie, our Kalashtar Sorcerer. Mm-hmm. Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost, okay. Nice. Cold energy shoots out of Janie's hand. Nice. Critical. Critical. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the first Woo. crit of the evening. Right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Critical of the evening. Nice. Well, uh, well yeah. okay, for five frost. Five frost. And uh, their speed is reduced by ten feet till the start of my next turn. <laughs> So they're already pretty slow. <laughs> yeah. Kind of stuck. And I do not wild search. Do not wild search, okay. Uh, you, you hit it in the leg with the cold energy, and it 
kind of f- freezes its leg like almost solid. It's moving even more slowly than it was before. Uh, Strax. 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 Uh, move me to right in front of you. 20. Uh-huh. Just whack All right. myself and all. And just Goblin Artificer. And Axe A. Takes position in front of Halber. his sister. Halbert A. Halbert. Halbert on A. Nice. nice. I think we're going to hit on this one. Well, it's 18 on the die, so. Okay, you're good. Um, I'll just tell you, you got to hit AC8. Okay, yeah, I figured it was pretty <laughs> jumpy at this point. Okay, hit on a 9. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. It's AC8. Okay, Thank so. goodness, after that first foe. Yeah, he had AC20. Hey, John, where's your healing going? 13. Ooh, max nice. damage. Max damage. Yeah. All right, 13 on yeah, A. Yeah, from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> you did take the brunt of the beating. Apparently that healing potion got him all fired up. Apparently. I laced it with a little something. Uh, <laughs> Special And GH will move in just a little behind us there. He's got a 30 move. 25 right here? Yep. Okay, so Strax, you bring your halberd down, you cleave into its left shoulder, cleave. and like that part of its body is kind of hanging off. And somehow it's still standing there. Oh, freaking I, undead resilience, man. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> you know. Bottle him up, Chris burn him up. Chris and his freaking zombies frick. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I could have used without the fap movement, honey. <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> The look on Jedi Master Greg's face is so funny. <laughs> he is Jedi Master Greg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Matisse. Matisse, finish it up. Uh, move me. Get in there. <laughs> when zombies Gross. make their undead fortitude uh-huh. save and they stay up, yes. I left that space open horny. for you. Because he can attack over your shoulder. Okay. So. All right. Smash it. All right. Laser our, our sword. Again, Adiva, the Paladin. When my zombies make their undead fortitude save, I get horny. Nine. That'll do, I think. Video recorded. <laughs> AC nine hits, right? Chris? AC nine hits. Yep. Uh, you four that. damage plus five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. What's the total? Be nine. Nine damage. Yeah. Nine. 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 So, for nine. I forget Greg's. undead fortitude is the amount of damage you do once they're making their save make a difference. Okay, you you slash down into that big gash that that Strax made. And, and, like, that left arm falls off, and you're like, how is this thing still standing? Oh, <laughs> but it's still there. Oh, my oh. God. You <laughs> <laughs> can stop rolling so good. Oh, no. Here it comes. We've been rolling shit. You need to now roll zombies. shit to come along All with right. us. So Zombie, zombie A is going to attack Matisse. Okay. <laughs> Six. Grr, arg. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Dramatic nice. shadows. Three. AC 16. That will miss. Okay, so with, with that other arm, it, it tries to <laughs> kind of tries to claw Sweet. you, <laughs> and it kind of deflects off of off of your uh, pauldron on your shoulder. Ching. What was that? Uh, okay. A felicity. So oh. then, zombie B is going to move up there and also attack Matisse. <sighs> AC 15. That will miss. Put your shield in the way. Claws in the shield. Uh, and then 5, 10. So the rest of them are just going to move up there, shamble up there. Uh, their move is... Walking Dead style. 20 feet. So they'll, so they'll, they'll, they'll double move if they have nothing else to do. They'll double move up okay, there. Just kind of bundle up there. Yeah, just kind of bundle up there. They're pretty stupid. Yes, like sheep to the slaughter. <laughs> Genie's like, Mwah. burn them, <laughs> burn them dead. <laughs> okay, so top of round two, we have Zombie A, who has made its undead fortitude save twice, twice. <laughs> and the other zombies are not damaged, and I, th- I don't think anybody in the party has been Maybe hit yet. Your camera ready the next. <laughs> uh, so Arvine, our Asmar fighter. All right, uh, I'm gonna drop the other Wakazashi now. So, sword dance with both of them. Swing with one. AC 19 to hit. 
I will hit. I will hit for six. All right, six. So you slash across its chest. And six. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's still standing. Oh, <laughs> It's missing one arm, and there's a huge gash in the chest, right, and it's still up. So with kind of a growl, she brings the other sword down across All right, bring it. the other sword for the second slash. That'll hit for AC 11. 11 hits. For 8 for damage. Eight. <laughs> really? Oh. I swear to God. Oh. That's a very fortitude is undead. <laughs> very fast. Very <laughs> I don't think you've ever saved four times in a row on a zombie. That's ridiculous. Wow. He's so sad. Wow. <laughs> He's got zombie fortitude. Oh my goodness yep. gracious. Uh, Jenny. <sighs> Go. Um, it's the best zombie ever right there. I'm going to actually back away. Just because I figure someone else might want to get in and try to attack. He'll take, he'll take an opportunity attack. And you'll be letting them in. What, they can't cut the corner? No, yeah. It, yeah, okay. he, yeah, yeah, I can't get by Matisse. So I want to make it so that, like, if Janie wants to get up there for a spell, she can. Get up there, Janie, and roast and toast. Ten. Fifteen. AC, eight. Miss. Right, you dodge out of the way. As if, if it's <laughs> slow attack. It's going to basically be, like, swinging the stump of its arm at this point. <laughs> there can't be much left. <laughs> I'm not sure how that dude is standing. Your arm's off! It was not! This is a flesh wound. Oh, this looks like a good place. It's a flesh wound. Uh, so where does my cone go? If I were you can to put it, it on the corner. You can get everything. Yep. yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. yep. Okay. Is, is so, it burning hands? So she... Puts her fingertips. Puts her yeah. thumbs together and... <laughs> All right, so... Um, dexterity saving throw. Ah. <laughs> zombies. Although the way he's been rolling... Um, <laughs> probably roll 20s Fucking for all of them. Fucking zombies. <laughs> well, at least uh, now we know where... The, all right, so first one. Now we know where the crew is. Really? Second one. Oh, no. Third one. Oof. Two ones. Oh. What's that? What's the DC on the dex? 13. 13, okay. This one rolled a 13, but minus two failed. <laughs> I mean, you're so. still doing six fire damage. I don't think zombies like fire. Ah, so so. Yeah. Medicaid doesn't think zombies like fire. And, and, yeah. and besides that, that's six damage to all of them. So that's a lot of total damage. <clears throat> all right, can I have to use a different dice? Did you just lose one of your tiny dice? I did. Mm. Oh, dear. No and now food. your flashlight is flashing. All right, that does that. D made it. All right, so. Is there a dice down there? So D succeeded, all the rest of them failed. Okay, so it's gonna be six fire. fire. Six or three. Where do you think it rolled? Uh, okay, so 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 six six or three. Six or three, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Fire. <laughs> uh, if you just want to toss me some markers, I'll get them out. Uh, let's see, A, B. C, D, and E. Assuming it went under e. the middle. We'll have to find it later. If oh. Pawnee Butt doesn't find it first. Excuse okay, me. so I'm going to roll for Zombie A. <laughs> um, without that dial that I was using, that was being so good. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, so it was six. Yeah, I was hoping that fire would defeat the undead fortitude. Yeah. He burns up and dies. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Your chumpy enemies keep giving us more difficulty than they're supposed to. <laughs> okay, uh, none of the rest of the zombies are bloodied, though. They are burned. <laughs> they are not bloodied. Just lightly burned. Did you Did you wild search? I... Nope. Oh. <laughs> I thought you had already rolled it. By one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Strax. Uh, are you backing okay. out of there, by the way? Uh, 15, 20, 
five? Oh, it was in my chair. Yes. <laughs> you were sitting on it? You had dice up your bum and you didn't even know? I'm car. not surprised he has dice up his bum. Okay. That's how I roll Do you poop <laughs> dice? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am going to light a bonfire in that square. Okay. Will I be able to attack? Yeah, I should be oh, sure. if they're there. Okay. Cool. Nice move. All set. All set. Okay. This sounds very uh, Matisse, firefly. I'm going to laser sword the next one. It reminds me of one. some of the Reaver you episodes. You got B with right in range. Yeah. Huh? I'm going to laser sword the next one. Got it. So, so you're laser sorting B. Go for it. Yeah, Matisse. Good damage. Dice. Okay. So uh, 23 the damage. Hit. Uh, that hits. For and 11. Yeah, Matisse. 11 on B is going to bloody B. Nice. 11. And turned it up to 11. 11, Matisse. <laughs> okay, then it is the space zombies. Oh, you're really gross tonight. <laughs> uh, that one's going to attack you, Matisse. I don't judge. I swear I'm a pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> <laughs> We're such a classy group. Just not when you're buzzed. Is he, is he 18? That will miss. All right. And oppose your shield again. Uh, then one of them will step up into the fire. We'll say C. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, deck save? Deck save. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. We'll move these. Yeah, we oh, actually I actually got a 14. 14 is the save. All right. So, so he, he takes nothing. He, he sort of shambles up. avoids it. Without really even trying, because he's mm-hmm. just shambling and <laughs> happens to step in the right spots by luck. <laughs> his enemies are ridiculous. He's going to attack today. Matisse. Is he six? That's going to miss. Tank going to tank. <laughs> it's, it, it, you don't even have to move. He just stumbles and clearly misses you. <laughs> <laughs> she like stands there and looks at it with disdain. And laughs. <laughs> All right. Top of round three. Seven we have one lady. destroyed zombie, one that is bloodied. Three others that are damaged, and I don't think anybody in the party has taken any damage at all. So we are back up at the top. Okay. Arvine. Okay. Step forward again. Asimar fighter. Step forward. Asimar. <laughs> <laughs> Attacking zombie C. All right. So. A C 17. That'll hit. That'll hit for seven. Seven. You slash across its arm for seven. And that was B. Yeah. So. Or that's C. Sorry, C. Yeah. Can't reach B. Oh. That will bloody C. Okay. And whirl around and bring the other sword around. Okay. Your walk is actually Second attack. Deep. That'll hit for AC 15. Okay. That will hit for eight. For eight. Okay, you slash across its belly and some guts spill out, but it's still standing. Okay. Um, should I try to make a hole for Janie again? I think you just did make a hole. Uh, um, hey oh, you're. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't do slot, another so. spell slot. Okay, I'll stay there. Tank, yeah, you did a pretty tank, good chunk of damage. So. Tank gonna tank. That's All right, me. Janie. Oh, um, night mode has shifted on my tablet. Clash our sorcerer. Ooh. Things, rays come shooting out of my fingers. Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. Oh. Critical! Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bring your criticals. Bring your criticals. Uh-huh. Ooh, nice. 13. 13 is on C. On C. On C. Okay. Can C. On C. This is going to be a tough one. Let's see if we can make it. Fapping the dice again. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> you and your damn zombies. <laughs> Jeez. It freezes up almost completely. And I do not wild search. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes it zombie fortitude save. Strax. Strax. Okay. Well, let's see if I can lop its head off. Okay. Lomp. 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 Okay, Lump, that's AC Lump, hit Lump, Lump, for Lump. Uh, for ten. It's the most I've ever done one. It's pretty awesome. Uh, for ten, okay. 
and you cleave that one in half, and it falls <laughs> dead. It falls dead. So All right. C. 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 Sweet. Senor. She's got the belch assist. Wow. Somebody call an exorcist for her belching. A belch assist? <laughs> Oh no, she's squeaking again. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. So, um, Drax, uh, you you killed that, that guy. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else. Well, um, Matisse, fire still there. Fire so. still there. Matisse, light it Matisse. up. Matisse, laser sword attack on B. Okay. <laughs> You're so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to be 13, I believe. Well, it's a 9 on the die, which is more than enough. If it's 8 or higher, okay. you're good. <laughs> uh, for 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. You're getting your arm work out tonight. Jesus. I am. Your forearm is going to be tired tomorrow. I'm going to So, so you, you, you stab right into that thing with your laser sword to pull it out. And it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to pull out. <laughs> you pull it out and it's still up. And you pull it out. You stab it in and then you pull it out and it's still up. What's it doing? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. You pull a muscle, honey. Oh. I'm pulling things. She's pulling things. Uh, zombie E is going to step into the fire there. Zombie E, okay. Takes a deck uh, save. Gets a 13. It's not and a fails. So he takes a D8. Where's my freaking D8? Where's my freaking D8? Three. <laughs> Max damage, eight. Wow. Good job. Nice on the job. Breathing. All right, so it stumbles into the fire and it becomes bloodied. Gets you burned up pretty good try. by that. And then takes a swipe at Matisse. Mm. <laughs> Is he 18? That's going to miss. <laughs> Slashes off the armor. Misses, miss. The other guy attacks. Okay, got to attack. AC 8, it stumbles and hits the wall. Top around four. We have two destroyed zombies, wow. two bloodied zombies, one not bloodied zombie, and still an unharmed party. You okay, uh, okay. Arvin, our Asamar fighter. Asamar it. Asamar. All right, so she swings at the one on the fire. Yeah, yeah, she's an asthma. She's an asthma. She's going to AC hit Okay. for six. Six on E. One, two, three. Two, three. Seven. Seven? Okay, you cut a big gash in its leg. It's still standing there. All right, and whirls around with the other sword. Uh, shoot. AC eight. Hit. Hit. Oh. So you, you okay? So you basically hit on anything but a one. Well, that's good. Uh, so another six. Another six. Going to make a hundred fortitude save. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yay! No satisfaction. No satisfaction this one. that time. It's been. He's just the about his lack of satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> Are they blue though? <laughs> <laughs> and wrinkly and saggy. Oh. <laughs> and spent. Uh, Janie. Blue ball. Come here. Yeah, I think you got line of sight. Then I can. To be, right? Yep. Can yes, yep. To be? Yeah, she's got line of sight to be. What is that? Which one is that one? Okay. Rare frost. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. That'll that's hit. 18 on the dice. Yep, that'll hit. Uh, and that's only 1d8 this time. Ah, <sighs> shame. Oh, jeez. Oh, one, one. one point of damage on but B. But he's frozen. He has a little frozen patch. A little frozen. <laughs> one of his eyes is his, frozen. His nipple. <laughs> his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that from Greg. <laughs> you freeze the zombie's nipple. It's very hard. <laughs> it makes a little part of the It's a tidbit nipple in here. Roll for wild. <laughs> no wild no, surge. No wild surge. <laughs> Oh no wild nipples, only frozen ones. <laughs> oh, I did realize I screwed up one of those. I screwed up one of those zombie fortitudes because it doesn't work on a critical. So oh. I, I, I screwed that up on one of them. Cheater! Boo! That's all right. I knew it didn't work on on radiant, but I, I forgot about Radio the critical active. part. Yeah, that's all right. I screwed up earlier because uh, you shouldn't have. You should have had to try to make a uh, save when you tried to attack me earlier, and I forgot to tell you. Oh, from the sanctuary. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Wasted okay. a spell slot and forgot to actually Oops. do something about oh, it. Oh, you were supposed to protect your... Strax, Hobgoblin Artificer. Um, you're up, buddy. Uh, go, I'm uh, going go. to... Can you clave him? Uh, or has he got cover? Can I, can I have cover? No. 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 Okay, I'm going to hold... Ready? I'm going to... Yeah. That's, I, was, I was trying to think of the word. I kept wanting yeah. to hold... You're ready to... Right you already moved out of your way? So, Would you yeah. move him anymore? Um, No. Uh, uh, you maybe? probably could from that other square, yes. Maybe because it's yeah. doesn't matter. It's one attack. It's one one attack. So yeah. I'll just I'll just ready, ready. attack. Okay. Yep. Matisse. 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 Laser sword on zombie B. Okay. You are correct. You got to hit AC eight. That's gonna do it. <laughs> What's the damage? Nine. 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 <laughs> I kind of missed the professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's still up. Pep attack. <laughs> it's still up. You you slash a big gash in its stomach, and it's somehow still standing. Uh, zombie vibe. All his right. guts and viscera are all over the floor now. Mm. At least you don't have to clean your blade. Mm. Uh, okay, space zombies. Mm. Uh, D will move up there, and Strax can take his ready to attack. Okay, well, okay. Um, he moves okay. in, so first... Fire. Oh, first Fire. Next save. Fire. Fire. Uh, gets a 11. Yes. Takes three. Three. three fire. Okay. Steps in there and gets burned. And now he gets the halberd. Not oh. too That's all right. AC hit for five. So suffer. And for four plus five for is f- nine. Yeah. So yep. Okay. AC nine for five. For five on D. Five on D. That bloodies it. Wait, I'm sorry, it's not bloody. God, turn off your alarm! <laughs> I turned it down. Yeah, but it still interrupted the music, and now uh, the oh atmosphere is completely oh, destroyed. Then it attacks Matisse. <laughs> AC 13. That one is. Clank. It, it slips on the viscera on the floor and doesn't quite. <laughs> Ew! Uh, the other one swings. Can I get out a lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it stumbles and bumps the other guy, and he, and he managed to miss you. They're getting each other's way. Uh, let's see. So, top around five. We have two zombies left. One is bloodied, one is not. The party is undamaged. Okay. Arbine, Arbine. swings at D. All right, Asmar fighter attacking zombie D. That'll hit That'll for hit. sure. Uh, for eight. That bloodies it. Okay. Whips around with the other Wakazashi. All right. She whips her Wakazashi back and forth. That'll hit for AC9. AC9 <laughs> will hit for five. <laughs> five. Yep. This is on D. Yep. These millennials. <laughs> <laughs> it's still up. Oh, That's man. what she said. <laughs> you cut off one of its arms. Uh, comes at you with the other one. All set? Mm-hmm. Janie. Freeze. Rare Frost. Here we go. Cold magical energy shoots out. Ooh. 
Uh, you see nine. That hits. That's enough. Four. Four on Frost damage. Nice. D. Good job. On D. I do not wild surge. <laughs> I do. Fat, 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 fat. That thing saves again. God, it saves again. Dude, you need serious. some different dice. Stamina, Kate. <laughs> I, I've, I've made the same ten times. Ten I times. have never seen you do that in another zombie fight nope. in any nope. of our campaigns. I am so happy I'm just an all under the table. <laughs> <laughs> that that is that is a professional. That's a serious stamina. <laughs> strax. That is strax. Strax. Somebody give me a towel. <laughs> Glad I'm not cleaning the table. Sorry to our family and relatives listening to this AC podcast. AC 9 for 7. AC 9 for 7 on We D. warned them that we were dirty. I'm just saying. Um, uh, his dad watched that podcast where people were naming themselves. Oh, all right. Those. You slash across the chest and, and you just, from like the shoulder his down to one arm, sport. you just cut it in half. Yeah. And it falls over dead. Well, he's okay. playing cards against humanity with us. All and, right. And good job with the halberd there, Strax. Right. Matisse. Laser sword. Laser sword to B. Laser sword to B. We left B for you. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Yeah. 18 to hit. All right. And for 11. 11. 11. (laughs) 11. Turned it right up to 11. (laughs) So. You have to say it with an American accent. Last guy. Going for the undo fortitude save. See if he can make it. It's a high one. (laughs) Never mind. I'll show you that video later. He just made a, a 16. He just made it. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> Motherfucker. Still stands up. There's there's 11 fortitude saves I, I, I succeeded on. Okay, it's time for it to stumble again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It attacks this. Does it move over into the fire? It moves over into the fire. It attacks this They're impenetrable wall, which has been blocking the hallway the whole time. <laughs> yes. It's just a large, very nice stoic blue wall. <laughs> it gets a natural one. Yeah. <laughs> it will not so hit. It cuts its own armor off. <laughs> it like, it like breaks the wall and kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> Finish it. Uh, round, come on, RV. Round six, thanks There's to my awesome fortitude there. save. Okay. Oh. We have this one bloodied zombie. Your fire. That's you, you can. can you just got to make a dex save. Oh. <laughs> that was an eerie stereo sound. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Yeah, can't do anything about the fire until my turn, so. <laughs> I forget if I drop Although I'm the swords, tempted to just leave it there to burn the, up all the, the viscera. Rifle with my flourish, I've, I've given the option of being able to drop things. Okay. Yes, you just have I'll, to keep track of I'll where your stuff is. I'll drop the wakizashis at my feet, draw the laser, laser rifle, rifle, and take aim. Okay, go for it. Oh, Ooh, that geez. will hit for AC 20. Okay. <laughs> and that will that was... hit for uh, seven. Seven. Here we go. Force damage. Come on, zombie B. That was an edge of the table roll for you guys who didn't see it. Ah! <laughs> you, you blast its head against the oh. wall <laughs> with the laser She's rifle. Trying to take Splat its head off. Yeah. Yeah. And it goes down. Right. And the grand finale right. is complete. Put the laser <laughs> rifle away. Pick up the. I made a. Shoes. I made a record high eleven undead that, fortitude that saves. That is crazy. And I made a record high. You were a wall. You didn't get hit a single time. No, you just not walked up the hall kind of like and lost thanks you on to the you. shoulder. I it was like, nice job. <laughs> I'll just stand right behind the wall and <laughs> cast my spell. <laughs> and the weapon with reach is very convenient for John, too. That mm-hmm. works really well. Good job, Should Hardy. make that glaive magical. How, how many things can you Too infuse great. a day? At the moment, uh... I can have two inf- two active infusions at any given time. Okay. Okay. That could be really cool for magicking other party member stuff too. When, when you get more of them, I that's, get you have your that's, own that's resources. That's generally you know. considered one of the um, nice roles of the artificer is to help yeah. outfit the other players. Yeah. Outfit. Outfit. Magic wakizashi. Mm-hmm. Arvin would not say no to that. That's Magic burning hands. <laughs> Uh, kind of redundant. There we are. Not post battle. Okay. Okay, so I just leave the fire there for a little bit in order to just get rid of the. So we don't have to walk through the it. The viscera. Sure, sure. Yeah, good idea. 
Kind of smells, but hey. Irene you know. kind of like takes a moment, like hand art or heart, it, like be at peace or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it emits perfume to uh, <laughs> cover get, the smell, smell of smell rotting, wool. burning <laughs> flesh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to destroy the so station, I think. Press to digitation. Or no, that, mm. not that one. Um, is press to digitation the one that'll press, clean press things? Digi- yeah, uh, that, clean yeah. Things, right? that's the mage yeah. thing, but I don't have that. Yeah. Okay, so um, shenanigator. Uh, this seems uh, like a good place to stop for the evening. Okay. Oh. So that was that was a lot of fun. I love doing my Yay. fortitude saves. Yeah, I did fortitude. And I love it when you, all <laughs> your attacks just <laughs> yeah, hit up, run up against a wall and do nothing. <laughs> Greg, Greg was a big deterrent. After that Matisse. first fight, we needed something to go well. <laughs> well, Matisse did say before that they probably. We probably have to destroy the station, probably. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. That's what I said at the beginning. <laughs> Nobody's listening to me. No, I use this If there's a long power long. source in the middle, that might be worth investigating. All right, listeners, thank you very much. Have hey, a good hey, night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. Bye, good night. everybody. Bye. Happy Friday. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Leave that in as the last quote of the, of the podcast. <laughs> If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review anywhere this podcast can be found. Our social media links, plus additional content, can be found on our website at knightsofroleplay.com. Please tell your friends about Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast, and spread the word through social media. Your help and support are greatly appreciated.